Part 1 Now look at the instructions for Part 1. For each question, choose the correct picture. One. What time are the two friends going to meet? Claire, shall we meet at quarter to six like yesterday? Sorry, Caleb. I need to finish my maths homework. OK, so can we meet at the bus station at 20 past six? Yes, OK. We can still get to basketball practice before it begins at quarter past seven. Now listen again. Claire. Shall we meet at quarter to six like yesterday? Sorry, Caleb. I need to finish my maths homework. OK, so can we meet at the bus station at 20 past six? Yes, OK. We can still get to basketball practice before it begins at quarter past seven. Two. Which trainers will the girl buy? Excuse me. Do you have these striped trainers in size 38? No, sorry, but we've got these white ones in your size. I've already tried those on. Do you have them in another colour? Sure. How about black ones? I don't like black very much. I'll take the white ones. Now listen again. Excuse me. Do you have these striped trainers in size 38? No, sorry, but we've got these white ones in your size. I've already tried those on. Do you have them in another colour? Sure. How about black ones? I don't like black very much. I'll take the white ones. Three. Who is George's uncle? Hey, this man really looks like you. Is he your Uncle Dave? Oh, no. My uncle doesn't wear glasses. That's my father's best friend. What does your uncle look like? He's not very tall and he's got a beard. He looks like my father a lot. Now listen again. Hey, this man really looks like you. Is he your Uncle Dave? Oh, no. My uncle doesn't wear glasses. That's my father's best friend. What does your uncle look like? He's not very tall and he's got a beard. He looks like my father a lot. Four. What did the girl do on Tuesday? So how was your week, Sally? Most days I had to study for my Spanish exam on Friday. On Thursday evening, however, my parents took us to a restaurant to celebrate my brother's birthday. But wasn't his birthday on Tuesday? Yes, it was. But I had a singing class. So we went on Thursday instead. Now listen again. So how was your week, Sally? Most days I had to study for my Spanish exam on Friday. On Thursday evening, however, my parents took us to a restaurant to celebrate my brother's birthday. But wasn't his birthday on Tuesday? Yes, it was. But I had a singing class. So we went on Thursday instead. Five. Which photo does the boy like most? Are these the photos you took in Australia? I really like this one of the koalas. Yes. But my favourite is this one I took from the bridge over the river. The birds flying over it were amazing. I can imagine. Australia must be such a great country to visit. Now listen again. Are these the photos you took in Australia? I really like this one of the koalas. Yes, but my favourite is this one I took from the bridge over the river. The birds flying over it were amazing. I can imagine. Australia must be such a great country to visit. That is the end of part one. Part two. Now look at part two.
For each question, write the correct answer in the gap. Write one word or a number or a date or a time. Look at questions six to ten now. You have ten seconds. You will hear a teacher telling some boys and girls about the school's summer music classes. Good morning, class. I'd like to tell you about the music classes that the school is offering this summer. If you're interested in learning to play a musical instrument, you need to book before the 4th of July. All the classes will start on the 14th of July and last until the 28th of July. You can choose from several musical instruments, such as the drums, the guitar, and the violin. Most lessons are on weekdays, but the guitar teacher can only teach students on Saturday. As the courses are all for beginners, you can borrow an instrument from the school. You can collect them from room 30 on the third floor from the first week of July. The course isn't very expensive. Each of the ten lessons will cost seven pounds, so seventy pounds in total. However, if you pay for the whole course at once, you get a ten percent discount, and will only pay sixty-three pounds. Now listen again. Good morning, class. I'd like to tell you about the music classes that the school is offering this summer. If you're interested in learning to play a musical instrument, you need to book before the 4th of July. All the classes will start on the 14th of July and last until the 28th of July. You can choose from several musical instruments, such as the drums, the guitar, and the violin. Most lessons are on weekdays, but the guitar teacher can only teach students on Saturday. As the courses are all for beginners, you can borrow an instrument from the school. You can collect them from room 30 on the third floor from the first week of July. The course isn't very expensive. Each of the ten lessons will cost seven pounds, so seventy pounds in total. However, if you pay for the whole course at once, you get a ten percent discount, and will only pay sixty-three pounds. That is the end of part two. Part three. Now look at part three. For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at questions eleven to fifteen now. You have twenty seconds. You will hear Carol and her friend Richard. Talk about a film they have seen. How did you like the film? Well, I don't usually enjoy watching films about history. I think they're boring, but this time I found it quite interesting. I agree with you. I suppose it was because the actors were really good. I loved them, especially the girl playing young Queen Elizabeth. I'm not so sure. Actually, what I liked best was the photography. It was a bit long. I wanted to meet my friends after the movie, but it's already six, and I have to go home now. I'm going to Cork tomorrow morning. But it was only two and a half hours long. A film about the life of a queen can't be shorter than that. Maybe you're right. At least we've learnt something useful. We're studying the life of Queen Elizabeth at school. Yes, it will help us with the history test we've got next week. True. So what about going to the cinema again next Saturday? There's a film about Queen Victoria. Well, as I told you, I'm not into historical films. Why not watch a horror or a comedy? Horror films are too scary. 
Let's go see something funny. Now listen again. How did you like the film? Well, I don't usually enjoy watching films about history. I think they're boring. But this time I found it quite interesting. I agree with you. I suppose it was because the actors were really good. I loved them, especially the girl playing young Queen Elizabeth. I'm not so sure. Actually, what I liked best was the photography. It was a bit long. I wanted to meet my friends after the movie, but it's already six and I have to go home now. I'm going to Cork tomorrow morning. But it was only two and a half hours long. A film about the life of a queen can't be shorter than that. Maybe you're right. At least we've learnt something useful. We're studying the life of Queen Elizabeth at school. Yes, it will help us with the history test we've got next week. True. So what about going to the cinema again next Saturday? There's a film about Queen Victoria. Well, as I told you, I'm not into historical films. Why not watch a horror or a comedy? Horror films are too scary. Let's go see something funny. That is the end of part three. Part four. Now look at part four. For each question, choose the correct answer. Sixteen. You will hear a boy and a girl talking about fast food. What does he say about it? Shall we go for a hamburger at the new fast food restaurant, Adam? I'd love to, but I'm going swimming at 4pm and I always have a burger after that. How about that cafe on the corner? They make delicious salads. I know salads are healthy, but they're really boring. Yeah, they're not as good as chips or hot dogs. Let's go to the sushi bar. We can have some fish instead. Now listen again. Shall we go for a hamburger at the new fast food restaurant, Adam? I'd love to, but I'm going swimming at 4pm and I always have a burger after that. How about that cafe on the corner? They make delicious salads. I know salads are healthy, but they're really boring. Yeah, they're not as good as chips or hot dogs. Let's go to the sushi bar. We can have some fish instead. Seventeen. You will hear two friends talking about the new gym. When did it open? Hi, Amanda. Have you been to the new gym? No, I haven't. I thought it wasn't ready yet. It was shut when I walked past it last month. They finished painting it a few weeks ago. I joined it last week when it opened. It was really crowded, but it's really modern. Why don't you join it too? Sure. Call me when you go again, and I'll go with you. Now listen again. Hi, Amanda. Have you been to the new gym? No, I haven't. I thought it wasn't ready yet. It was shut when I walked past it last month. They finished painting it a few weeks ago. I joined it last week when it opened. It was really crowded, but it's really modern. Why don't you join it too? Sure. Call me when you go again, and I'll go with you. Eighteen. You will hear a girl talking about her volleyball coach. What does she say about him? What's the matter, Sylvia? You look sad. This morning my volleyball team played against Black Stars, but my coach didn't let me play. He only lets me play in easy games. Perhaps he thinks you need more practice. But I go to every training session. I'm sure it's because of my height. I'm not as tall as the other players, you know. 
I'm not as tall as the other players, you know. Nineteen. You will hear a boy and his mother talking about school. Why is his mother worried? Have you finished doing your French exercises? Remember, you got a bad mark last week. No, I'm doing science homework for tomorrow right now. The French test is on Monday. Oh, but you have no problem learning science. You need to study the subjects you don't like and spend less time on the internet. But I only go online for my homework. Now listen again. Have you finished doing your French exercises? Remember, you got a bad mark last week. No, I'm doing science homework for tomorrow right now. The French test is on Monday. Oh, but you have no problem learning science. You need to study the subjects you don't like and spend less time on the internet. But I only go online for my homework. Twenty. You will hear a boy and a girl talk about a campsite. What was good about it? Where did you stay on holiday? At a campsite. It was quite nice, but it had a few problems. Oh no! Like what? Well, it was really quiet, but that was okay. I don't like campsites where people talk and play loud music all night. The problem was that the showers in the bathroom were old and broken. Fortunately, we were by the sea. So I swam when I needed to wash. Now listen again. Where did you stay on holiday? At a campsite. It was quite nice, but it had a few problems. Oh no! Like what? Well, it was really quiet, but that was okay. I don't like campsites where people talk and play loud music all night. The problem was that the showers in the bathroom were old and broken. Fortunately, we were by the sea, so I swam when I needed to wash. That is the end of part four. Part five. Now look at part five. For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at questions twenty-one to twenty-five now. You have fifteen seconds. You will hear Antonio talking to his sister about the summer holidays. What did each of his friends do? How was your first day of school, Antonio? Brilliant! Seeing my classmates again after two months was great fun. Did you tell them you went to Austria by train? Yep, and guess what? Oliver went there too, but he took the plane. Did Megan spend the holidays with her grandparents in France as usual? She did, but she was really bored. She said her parents are planning to go to Portugal or Wales next summer. Portugal? I'd love to go there too. And where did the others go? Michael visited a lot of Irish towns and villages with his aunt. And where was Sophie? She is really brown. She was in sunny Spain. Lucky Sophie. Did Liam go to Brazil to meet his cousins? No, he'll probably go there at Christmas. He just spent a few weeks in Scotland where his father works. Now listen again. How was your first day of school, Antonio? Brilliant. Seeing my classmates again after two months was great fun. Did you tell them you went to Austria by train? Yep. And guess what? Oliver went there too, but he took the plane. Did Megan spend the holidays with her grandparents in France as usual? She did, but she was really bored. She said her parents are planning to go to Portugal or Wales next summer. Portugal? I'd love to go there too. And where did the others go? Michael visited a lot of Irish towns and villages with his aunt. And where was Sophie? She is really brown. She was in sunny Spain. Lucky Sophie. Did Liam go to Brazil to meet his cousins? No, 
He'll probably go there at Christmas. He just spent a few weeks in Scotland where his father works. That is the end.